Hi there, follow here. The fastest and most responsive website builder that anybody can use, especially you, is Builder Alchira. And in this video, I'll show you how the email marketing form works on it. Before we proceed, intro. This is the Builderall back office. Builderall is an all-in-one digital marketing platform that anybody can use even without learning any programming and technical skills. So with Builderall, you can build websites, sales funnels, you can also do email marketing, e-commerce, photo studio, animated videos, SEO report because yes, Builderall websites do rank on Google. Facebook chatbots, which is a very, very powerful lead generation tool. You can also make online courses on it. Webinars, CRM, and even give an access to your virtual assistant. If you want to learn more about this or the other tools, because it has approximately 40 tools that you can use for digital marketing, I'll put the link on the description of this video. Let's jump into Builder All Cheetah real quick. With Builder All Cheetah, by the way, as long as you can copy, paste, edit, and save, you will be able to use the platform. Now, here in Builder All Cheetah, these, these are the websites that I've made, which are actually I've used for demo. But for this one, let's go ahead and create a new one. Create a new site. Name this Demo7. Click on Save. Let's look for Demo7. And to edit the specific website we'll be working on, just click on Edit Site. Here, this shows us all the pages for that specific website that we'll be working on. And so far, it has one page, which is the home page. Let's jump right in. Click on edit page. So it's blank for now. You can show grid lines on it. So you'll have a guideline, even ruler. All right. Now, so just to go for what I said earlier, that this is the fastest and most res responsive website builder that anybody can use. When you build websites, there are two views to it. You have the desktop view and the mobile view or the phone view. So let's add some panels to it. Add panel. First fold, these are actually the contents for the website. So there's no need to think of what content to put on the website. It's already here. The design, the templates, it's already here. All you have to do is edit the content itself. So let's add another panel. So that's the headline. I'm going to add a header to it. Okay, we added the header, but the header has to go on top. So what I'll do, just have to click on the header itself or on that specific panel. From here, you'll have options. There's an option to go up for the arrow, down, duplicate, hide, and delete it. What we want to do is go up. Just click on that, and it's up there. Let's go ahead and add another panel. Click on panel. I want to add a uh, pricing table. Let's see this one. If it's there, 
Okay. Let's add another panel. My team. Let's say this one. So there. All right. And I want to add another panel, which is the footer. This one. Click on that. And we have the footer down here. To check on how this would look like on a live website, you just have to click on preview, which is this one. So click on that. So from top to bottom, we have the, the header, the headline, pricing. So, so far, so good. The content is already here. Now, as I said, website builders. From the de This is the desktop view or the computer view. When you go to the cell phone or the phone view, you need to make an adjustment. A variety of adjustments but let's check on builder of cheetah click on the phone and boom no adjustments needed unless you prefer to do so it's already fixed and adjusted automatically real time but again if you prefer to make any changes or any adjustments you can still do so that's how fast and responsive Builder All Cheetah is, given its name, Builder All Cheetah. All right? Now, let's go ahead and add an email marketing form. So I want to go back to the editor. To add an email marketing form, let's say, for example, this button. All right? This one that I'm moving, let's go ahead and delete that. Just click on the trash can. And what I want to do is uh, add an email marketing form. Click on Add. Click on Elements. So already here. Click on Email Marketing Form. From here, all you have to do is choose. So from here, let's say for example I chose this one. Drag it. So everything is drag and drop. Let go. From here, it will ask you to which list on Mailing Boss would you like to connect it to. So let's say I'll just go ahead and choose any of these. So let's say this one, Import Test. Just click on that. Click on Save. So the email marketing form is here. So I want to make adjustments to this. I want to bring this down email marketing form I'm gonna make it I'm gonna adjust it make it bigger all right so from here the form you can change everything all right but if you let's say for example I decided to uh, change the, the uh, form just click on it there's a trash can delete it that's done Okay, so again, arrow, add, elements, email marketing form. If I would like to add any of these. So let's say, for example, this one. Drag, drop. Choose a list. Click on save. And it's good to go. I want to adjust it. From here, I want to add, I want to change the, uh, if you left click on it, all right, you have the option here. You want to link it, all right. If you want to change the uh, list for it to uh, connect to, you also have the option to link it. What you would like to happen if the uh, subscriber or if your lead subscribes, unsubscribes, or even if it's a penny subscribe, there's an action to it. So let's say the subscription or the uh, lead confirms subs subscription. Click on no action. And from here, you can choose what to happen next. All right. So if a subscriber confirms the subscription, 
they can either be uh, routed or directed to a website, another page, any of those. Okay? And also for the web for the linking or the action, you have the option to uh, if you want the uh, new page, let's say for example, choose the page you want it to open on the same page or on another page or another window. So you have control or actually power on what you would like to happen or where your lead, where you want your lead to be directed to. Okay. Now, if you want to customize this, just right click on it. By the way, you have also the option to duplicate it. All right, two forms. Let's delete that. Hide it and delete it. From here, if you want to customize every anything on the email marketing form, just right click on it and it's here. Okay, general settings, size, okay, the button, the field, si field style, so here, the borders, the button headline, if you want to change it, let's say subscribe. Subscribe now. All right. You can also add icons to it. I want to put a check mark on it. You can search. Standard check mark, click on select. See, the check mark is there. Did I have to do any encoding? Nope, we did not have to. All right, button subheadline. Free registration or Check email for access. Bold it, line it to the right, left, center, justify. Okay. So everything can be customized to your own preference. So that's how the email marketing form works. You can connect it to your email list and from there you don't have to do anything else that's how fast simple and easy it is to connect the email marketing form to your mailing boss or any other uh, autoresponder and to customize it again just right click on it you have all the options to do to work on to your own preference on how would you would want it to look like or appear or even the actions when uh, a customer or lead enters their information to your email marketing form so that's about it for this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you think this would help other people please do share it if you want to learn more just subscribe and click the bell beside the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I upload a new video if you have any questions, just comment below or message me on my Facebook page and I'll either answer it or even make a video out of it so we can share the knowledge to everybody. Just like that, the video is over and I'll see you on the next one. Let's go.